In my last video, which I'm sure you've all watched, I uh, showed you a method of making a round porch post top uh, using basically nothing but a, a table saw. And in this video, I'm going to use a much simplified version of that method um, to put a, a very shallow angled cut on a, on a wide surface of a board. Uh, these two pieces of wood I have here our opposite legs of a very short shelf that I'm making for our dining area and to match the furniture that's in that area I need to put a, um, a very shallow angle on the inside of each leg. Uh, that angle is about four to five degrees and because the board is so wide and because my uh, you know my angle is so shallow thus I'm um, you know so deep I can't use the traditional methods I would normally use on my table saw to put an angle on a, on a surface. Um, you know, normally maybe I would kick the blade on that four to five degree angle and pass, you know, pass my board through, uh, but the depth of my cut is seven inches. Uh, my blade can only come up three and a half, so I can't use that method. Um, the other method, you know, I would normally use is maybe fixture the board on the four to five degree angle this way and pass it, pass the blade. Um, Using that method, I could maybe flip it over and thus do half and half. So I could take off seven inches worth of material. But because my total board width is, uh, you know, it's 10 inches, um, I couldn't use that method either. So what we're gonna do is, uh, is use a modified version of what I've shown you before. And uh, we're gonna use that method to uh, take off this material. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is figure out how many turns on the handle of our table saw does it take to move the blade out of the table one inch. Um, I've already done this and uh, for me it's, it's 12. So uh, one, so that was 12 turns and, uh, and it's one inch out of the table. Um, going to be different for every table saw, but that's the first thing uh, that you're going to have to do is get that relationship. The next step is to determine the width of the blade. Uh, for me, that is an eighth of an inch. And if you watched the last video, I think you figured out where we're going with this. We're going to start with the, the blade at the height of the full depth of cut, which is at the bottom of my table leg. And we are going to progressively move the fence in eighth of an inch increments lowering the blade accordingly and we're just going to walk our way uh, along the surface that way uh, and once we've moved seven inches our blade will be back down into the table and we should have the the correct angle and in my last video i had the blade 90 degrees at 90 degrees to the table um, and because we we're doing a contoured surface uh, but what that did for me is it created a lot of steps that i we had to sand away on that surface when we were done. Because there's no contour to this cut, um, we can cheat a little bit and we can turn the blade on the, uh, the correct angle that we're cutting and that will put the, uh, the teeth of the blade uh, parallel to the surface we're cutting and we should have very little stepping and very little sanding hopefully when we're done. Uh, and then this last thing would be, you know, to determine how much I'm going to turn my blade or turn the wheel um, every time I move my fence an eighth of an inch. Now I'm going to be going uh, traveling seven inches on this cut and unfortunately for me my uh, my table saw is 12 inches or 12 rotations per inch uh, to 100% match the furniture in the dining area I would be taking off a half inch um, over a seven inch length. Um, that would be six turns on the wheel for seven inches on my fence. And I don't like that math. So I'm going to just modify it a little bit. Um, it'll be, you know, won't even notice. So, so for me, it's not critical. I'm going to do seven turns on the wheel uh, for seven inches of movement um, on my fence. That means for every, every movement of my fence of an eighth of an inch, I'm going to turn my wheel an eighth of a rotation. 
and that's going to give me a, a little over a uh, half inch um, over seven inches and that's uh, that angle comes out to about 4.8 degrees and to reduce the stepping or to eliminate the stepping on the surface um, I have moved my table or my blade angle uh, to around 4.8 degrees and I think we are ready to get started. There you have it. So um, we, we did follow the uh, the angle that I was shooting for. Uh, my blade you know, apparently isn't quite an eighth of an inch. We've got a lot of these flimsy little pieces that were left over. Um, I'm hoping that they'll just uh, knock off, knock right off. So let's see. Yeah, they just knocked right off. Uh, you can see um, I don't have a lot of stepping on this surface because I I'm turn the blade on the the, uh, the correct angle, so I don't think there's going to be a lot of sanding to do. But um, let's fire up the sander and uh, and see what it takes to get this smooth. All right, so we're going to hit this with a uh, orbital sander. Uh, see if we can get the where the, the the lines on the surface. Um, I'm going to go with 40 grit just to make the job go a little faster. Maybe follow up with a with a 60 later. Alright, that took, uh, took two or three minutes at least to get that surface smooth. Uh, this is oak. I'm sure if it was pine it would have gone a, a lot faster. But uh, yeah, not too bad. So it was about eight minutes for the, the cut, maybe three minutes for the sanding. So you know, ten, a little over ten minutes uh, to do this. Uh, so not too bad. And uh, I got one more to do, see if I can beat my time and then uh, We'll uh, see how they look. So there you have it. There's the table. Um, the second leg uh, still took about 10 minutes. Didn't uh, beat my time, darn it. But um, yeah, you can see the angle I was trying to match on the, uh, the leg of this chair. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with how it turned out. Uh, I'm not really sure, honestly, how I would have done those angles otherwise with uh, the tools I have. Uh, just also want to give a shout out to my son James for this tabletop. Um, he uh, sliced this off of a piece of red oak using his chainsaw mill. It's got a nice live edge on the front. Uh, I think it looks gorgeous. You know, it's, uh, it's not the only way to do this for sure, uh, but it's another way. Uh, hopefully I've given you another tool in your toolbox. Um, feel free to check out my other videos. Uh, like and subscribe. I do have a couple more projects uh, in the works. So hopefully I'll be posting some other videos soon. Uh, but with that, I'll just say thanks for watching and good luck with whatever you're working on.